OMG my boy squad We have a bit of a problem A big problem The guy uh My boy squad The problem is The guy is not eating her formula. This is a problem. Why? Because I think she only likes solid foods now. Why is this a problem? Because I'm gonna miss feeding her formula. <laughs> Why? Why you gotta grow up? Why do you gotta grow up? Don't tell me you're just gonna eat solids now. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this step. Here, try. Try. She doesn't want it. She had like two bites and like she started spitting it out. You don't like this? This is your life sustenance. You grew up on this. This is like MSG to me. <laughs> no? Oh. Okay. I'm still gonna try at lunch and I'm gonna try at dinner. Just in case you change your mind. <laughs> Guess I gotta chop up her salad and fruits now. Don't tell me you don't like this. This is the best. Here. Y yes. Fine. Guys, seriously. Look at how much formula we have left. Unused formula, we just bought it. OMG, I'm gonna keep it, hopefully she will still eat it. All right, so mornings are for veggies and fruits, and she's eager, she's hungry, because she didn't eat formula. Um, today, I'm going to be introducing, for the very first time, oranges, mm-hmm. Yes. Now I learned in Bataan that she likes to eat it in strips. So I've cut it in strips. When she was younger, it had to be cut in like little tiny bite-sized pieces. But this time, I'm gonna try strips. And I've made sure to choose items that are nice and colorful, different flavors. Um, hopefully she likes it. Yes. Mmm, of course she goes for the carrots. She loves carrots. Um, it's important to give parrots veggies that are high in beta-carotene because they tend to have a vitamin D deficiency. Oh, you just threw that on the ground. Oh, she tasted the orange. Mmm, yummy. Sorry, did I say vitamin D deficiency? <laughs> what I meant was vitamin A. African greys tend to suffer from vitamin A deficiency, so you should give them items with good beta-carotene. Mmm, such a good bird loving her salad in the mornings. Ooh, she's like, that orange tastes so sour. OMG. She's learning to climb out of the cage now. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, Lagaya. Seriously, seriously. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. Look at her, she's a little climbing genius. She's sliding. <laughs> Let's see how she's gonna maneuver this. Go! Oh, she's sliding, oh! Oh, there she goes. To the bottom of the cage. It's so funny. She did the fireman pole maneuver. <laughs> Remember when she was terrified of this view? Look at her now, as an adult. New perspective, new brain, new body, new set of experiences, new confidence. She's like looking at this view with new eyes now. Pretty amazing, right Ligaya? She is still kind of nervous, I can see. But she is willing to perch here and really just look. Now, the thing that might catch her off guard is if, say, a bird flies by, it might freak her out. But I do want to show her this view because I foresee her hanging out by the window a lot in the future. I don't want to make her afraid of windows. Mm-hmm. Right? Isn't that a cool view? That's Mandaluyong, Salabas. And now she's on the floor picking up <laughs> some carrots that fell that she was eating from above. The one thing I learned about these parrots, guys, is that they're also ground foragers. So they do like to spend some time on the ground. As much as I would like to rearrange this cage to better suit her climbing and ascension needs, um, the ground still needs to be interesting, like the floor of her cage. 
Um, I'm trying to decide how to rearrange and redecorate and remodel for you, Ligaya. Mm-hmm. Due to this new lifestyle change. You seem to be going through lifestyle changes every single day. It's so hard to keep up. Mm-hmm. So, I'm here with Ligaya, and I want you guys to see something. Gaia. Gaia. Okay? Guys, she's biting me. See? Look at her, look at her. No. No. Be nice. It's just me. I think she's sleepy. But I did hear about this. This is called their teenage rebellion. Rebellious stage. She like will randomly get in these moods where she wants to attack me or RJ and she bites and she bites pretty hard So this is a stage of course that I read about I'm fully prepared for physically emotionally Mm-hmm. I know my mom is watching this saying haha <laughs> karma <laughs> But I mean it's part of the whole teenage stage. I try to understand but so look at her. She's looking at my hand. She would like to bite it. Maybe it's like raging hormones. Her growing up. I'm prepared. Doesn't break my heart. Gotta be firm. Just say no. Um, if she bites hard, one of the tricks that I learned from Wings and Paws, another African Grey parrot channel that I follow, is you shout, you go ah, and then you like leave. So it gives that message like, okay, playtime's over. If you bite, teaches them that human skin is sensitive. Ligaya, you have to be nice. You have to be nice to all your flock members. Mm -hmm. No, be nice. She's like looking to get closer to my fingers so she could bite them. She's gonna sneak, she's gonna sneak up. Be nice. Here she goes, watch, she's looking at my fingers. See, I think she's, she's learning. No biting of fingers as much as she wants to. You're a good girl. I know you're a good girl and I know you don't mean to bite me. It's just, I know you don't understand these emotions at this moment. But don't worry, I'm here. I'm here for you. I will bleed for you, literally. <laughs> I'll be patient enough to be with you through this very confusing stage, this transition stage of yours. Mm -hmm. I understand. Yes. See, and she acknowledges too. I know she feels sorry. Every time she bites me, I, she, she does feel sorry. I know she does. I can feel it. She bites and then she stops and she like, as if she realized, OMG, what did I just do? And then she feels so sorry for me. And then she's sweet again. A sweet little princess with your scary like beast mode moments. <laughs> look, at my, look at my hands. Like, thank goodness I am not a hand or arm model. Like, I've got tons of scratches. See, look at that. Like, totally torn up. These are scars of love, the guys. Okay, seriously? She just jumped from the food bowl to the wall. Okay, it's time for us to make some changes to this cage. Now that she's all like leaping lasagna over here. All right, so I removed this ladder, which connects the first platform to that platform. Look at her, look at her reaching. Oops! Oh! There goes the chicken! Oh! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You alright? <laughs> She's like, I'm okay. Yes! Oh! And she had to poo. So guys, the reason I have to start making some arrangements here is because now that she's leaping around and flapping her wings and stuff, <laughs> she's excited. She's going crazy. Now that she's doing that, there is a danger of her breaking her wing feathers. Yes, feathers can break. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna have to remove and rearrange the setup in order for there to be enough space for her to leap and like cling. You know what I mean? Like she's like geckoing it right now. So um, I'm gonna have to remove some stuff. Yes, I know. Isn't it exciting? Wow, 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 wow. I know, isn't it great to be able to fly around, jump around? It's freedom, right? Wow. <laughs> You're so happy right now. Okay, so um, I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to relocate this net. 
she, there's no need for her to have it so low anymore. I originally put that there so that she could have some support climbing this ramp, but she really doesn't need that anymore. All right, ta-da! Here's the new setup. So, remove that first ramp. I've moved the bridge into that space. Hopefully, she'll start exploring that space here. See that? Like a bridge there. Yes, hi. I know. And then uh, I have also moved this platform, which used to be up here. I've moved it down a level here. The reason I did that was because I would like her to have a lot more space in this area. Ah, man, this is base climbing is. Oh, there she is climbing now. Let's see if she can get up. I, I wanted to have her more area here to like flap her wings and stuff. Um, she's planning on how am I ever gonna get up there? This net I've moved up uh, because it'll make it easier for her to leap and gecko and spider-man climb right there. Mm -hmm. uh, challenges her a little bit not having the ramp up here like usual. See she's trying to figure out how do I get up there and as expected, she's gonna start to use this uh, net wall more. Move the food bowl from here to here, uh, because the thing I started noticing was she was picking up her pellets, going here and like chewing on them and then dropping them and then they would end up disappearing down there past the grill where she can't reach them. So I've moved them here where the platform is and I've placed a soft blanket here so she could drop them here and eat them later on if she wants to. Perhaps maybe even sleep up here, who knows but that's there for her. Mm -hmm. Right now she's trying to use her brain. How do I get up? The guy, you can figure this out. I know you can. You're a climber. There she goes, climbing the rope. Climb, climb, climb. Yes. <laughs> there she goes, using that bridge. All right, so she's up on this branch. Let's see how she does and making it up to the higher branches. So Ligaya, there are several ways you can do this. You can come here on this branch and then climb up here. Or you could climb that back wall to make it to this platform here. Yep, good girl. Yep, you're doing a good job. You figure this out while I go make your food for lunch. Let's see and hope you want formula. You ch do you change your mind? Do you want formula again? Let's see. Doesn't need me for formula. She loves formula. You love formula. Right? It's our time. Our intimate time. Let's see. Let's see if you changed your mind. If formula is your way to go. Now that you've gone without formula all morning. You know what I'm saying? Mind you, it would be nice sleeping in past 7 a.m. <laughs> yes. All right, perfect. 42 degrees, just the way you like it ever since you were a baby. Well, you're making, whoa! Oh gee, take it easy, I'm gonna put you down. This flight stuff is crazy. Okay, wait, okay, wait. Now where's the syringe? Oh, here it is. All right, all right. Sheesh, it's coming already. Wow, she couldn't wait, she just like flew. Okay, yes, isn't it great? Isn't it wonderful? Mm-hmm, never be weaned off this. Just remember, this formula is where it's at. Formula to satisfaction and success and full nutrition uh, Right, okay here Here I know you've missed it, right? I know I missed it too. <laughs> Don't be spitting it out like this morning. Yes. Good girl She loves it guys here come. Come, come, come. Yep. Do you want don't tell me you just wanted one and a half formula, huh? Wow, I did it without holding your neck this time. Oops, but you're spitting it out. Okay, okay, okay. This is challenging while you're perching. Okay, wait, here, go down. Okay, oops, I got it on your face. Sorry. Oh my. <laughs> it's a lot harder when you're older. Okay, here. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious, isn't it? Never forget your roots. <laughs> spider bird, spider bird. She can do what a spider bird can. Climb a wall made of rope. She is called the spider bird. Look out, here comes the spider bird. <laughs> flat those wings, flat those wings, flat those, flat those, flat those wings. Someone's going to sleep. It's nap time. Yes, nap time. Mm-hmm. And guys, this is another sign of her growing up. Sorry, 
Sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, I'll let you sleep. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Sleep, 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 sleep. Mm-hmm. Go to sleep. Close your eyes. Uh oh, I woke up. The fact that she's sleeping, perching, just is testament of how grown she is. <laughs> the fact that she could sleep perched on a branch, that's something. Because usually she sleeps on the floor. Guys, look at how good she is with her hands. Oops! <laughs> Someone came! <laughs> she dropped. She dropped the food. <laughs> okay, it's just the plumber. Here, I want to see you use your hands. I want to show Mabuhai Squad how good you are with your hands. Show us. Because she's good with her hands now, I move the bowl out here where it's easier for me to reach. Look at that. Look at, look at her. She's like full out grasping the food and maneuvering it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Good girl. Yes. No more dropping that food now, right? Unbelievable. What an animal. Seriously. You amaze me, Ligaya. You're just... What? Seriously. Like, the animal is perched on one leg and with the other leg grabbing on to like a piece of food. Craziness. Yes. Seriously. Seriously. She's telling me to step back. Okay. What a marvelous piece of anatomy. Okay, I'm stepping back. I'm stepping back for real. Seriously. I also removed the food bowl and blanket from here because I found it was causing her to be scared to kind of like climb from this branch to here. So I just removed it. So she knows it's solid, it's not slippery. You know what I mean? There's nothing in the way for her to climb up. And I've even added this toy here so she can grab a hold of it to climb up to this level. Mm -hmm. When you're a parrot owner like me, you're also by default an architect and interior designer. What are you gonna do? Don't tell me you're gonna fly off this perch. She says, yes I am. Watch me, daddy. No. Where are you gonna fly to? Hmm? Where are you gonna fly to? Don't tell me you're gonna fly to the bathroom. Oh. Where, where? Where are you gonna fly to? Hmm? Come. Step up. Good girl. <laughs> you're such a good girl. Seriously, I'm so proud of you. You're just such an adult animal. I'm just gonna turn you so Mabuhai Squad can admire your plumage. Yes, yes, show the underwing. Yes, flap those wings, flap those wings. What are you saying? What? She's like, take me already. Okay, fine. I will take you to the window. Would you like to go back to the window? Here, step down, step down. Good girl. She's like, this is not what I was thinking. I was thinking more couch. <sighs> All right, couch it is. Go poo, go poo. Mm -hmm. Go poo, you could do it. Go poo, go poo. <laughs> How the hell is he laughing? <laughs> go poo. This requires a lot of patience. Go poo, a bald Asian. Go poo, go poo. When you're finished scratching your pits, go poo. <laughs> go poo, go poo, go poo, go poo. Oh man, this is such a long process. This is not working. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No going after my shaver and all of that. I'll take you away, you don't gotta poo. Well, I promise, you're gonna learn. No, no, Legaya, no. Friendly, friendly, be friendly. No, no, no. Friendly. Oops. Legaya. Yeah. Right, she's saying. But it doesn't hurt, right? It only hurts a little bit. Hey, 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 hey. Put the beak away. Beak away. No, no biting. No. No biting. No. No. No biting. No biting allowed. No biting is allowed. We are family. We are family. No biting. And now she's playing with this. <laughs> the Gaia. 
Fighting is not allowed in this flock. You understand? Not allowed. You have to be nice. <laughs> She's playing again. So as you can see, when they get to a certain age, mm -hmm, they become kind of a handful. <laughs> I guess like human babies, it's it's like, it's all flowers and dandy and cuteness and like, <laughs> and laughs. But when they reach a certain age, it starts to get challenging. I know this biting isn't a result of a behavioral problem of any kind. Like, it's not like I'm ignoring her or we haven't socialized her or anything like that. For those of you who've been following the vlogs, you know this bird has been socialized like to the max and has been brought out and exposed to all sorts of people and different environments. So this biting is not any kind of like behavioral problem. It's really just her face. And I know it's gonna end. Some of you guys are telling me it's gonna end. And plus I've read that it will end. Now you come, step up, step up. Good girl, yes. Good girl, you're a good girl. Even if you bite, go, go, go. <laughs> She's not. I know, I know though. Ate Elsie says, it's like she's crazy. Yeah, she is. You're crazy. You're a crazy little one. <laughs> Look at her. Why couldn't you pee and poo while on the toilet? No biting. Yes, bite that. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, I think she's gonna get it. Wow, wow, wow. I see her trying to pronounce it and she gets excited. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Man, do you guys hear that? I feel like she's gonna get it soon. Wow, wow, wow. Go poo, go poo. Good girl. Good girl, come. Because you pooed. You can leave the cage now. Wow, wow, wow. Step up. Good girl, step up. Huh? Good girl. They try to make me go to rehab while well, I say no, no, no. Yes, I've been black, but when I come back, you know, no, no. <laughs> Cause I ain't got the time. And if my daddy thinks I'm fine Why did you stop singing? They try to make me go to rehab Well, I won't go, go, go do, 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 do. I'd rather be at home with Ray Yes I haven't got 17 days Cause there's nothing There's nothing you can teach me that I can learn from Mr. Hathaway. I didn't get a lot in class. Hmm? <laughs> isn't she? T isn't she chatty? But I know it don't stop. In a shot glass They try to make me go to rehab But I won't go, go, go I know what you want I'm doing this tonight You're probably gonna start a fight I know this can't be right Yeah, baby, come on I love you endlessly But you weren't there for me So 
Now it's time to leave and make it alone. I don't want you to say no more. It ain't no lie. I don't want you to walk that. I don't want you to walk out that. Oh my gosh, I forgot the basic songs of the pop 90s and early 2000s. What's going on? See, I think this bird just likes to vocalize and sing with me. Oh, by the way, guys, we got our new package of sip water. That's right, the official Mabuhai Squad water. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're gonna be drinking sip, le guys. Mwah. Mm -hmm. What shall we sing next, huh? What shall we sing next? Mabuhai Squad, leave in the comments some songs. I'm like literally running out of songs. <laughs> I'm a singer and I'm running out of songs. I don't know how that happens, but maybe I might choose one of your songs and we will sing it together or I will sing it to her mm -hmm. to sleep. Leave it in the comments. Let me know. We're taking requests, Legaya! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! yeah, yeah. I have a mustache. OMG! <gasps> I look like my dad. I need to shave. The guy, this is what you do. I spend so much time with you, I forget my own hygiene and appearance. Why? Because parenting is such a weird thing. You're no longer the picture, you're the frame. The guy, you are the picture. I am now the frame. Let me frame you. All right, the guy. Since you are progressing so well, I think it's time for another very big and major step in your birddom. I think you're ready. Okay, Mabu High Squad. Now, this next step that Legaya is about to do is something that I remember my bird last year, Malaya, loved, loved doing. And I do believe that Legaya over here is very ready. Mm -hmm. Legaya, I think you're ready to do this. Are you ready? Do you think you're ready for this new experience? Hmm? Crawl on my shoulder. Step up if you feel like you're ready for this new experience. <laughs> Let's try that again. Legaya, step up if you're ready for this new experience. Step up. Step up, the guy. Step up. Step up. <laughs> the guy, don't you want to try something cool and new? The guy, step up. <laughs> All right, Mobile High Squad. Let's do this. The new thing that we are going to make Legaya do for the very first time is 